Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going to give another go to something that has never really been particularly successful for me and that is the joyful wonderful swipe. The intentional swipe. Now I tend to get quite good results when I go oh I hate this and swipe it and I get quite a funky result but when I start out with the target of creating a, a swipe then yeah nah, doesn't quite work very well anyway so in the spirit of halloween which is what our october challenge is i'm gonna try and do a night sky now i'm not really sure quite how this is a night sky but we'll see I'll give it a go and if it works then I'll be super happy so I think one of the things that I've done not quite well enough in the past is my paint hasn't been running enough and now that I've mixed that color it's not running enough and now I'm getting water on my canvas ah. so what I am looking to create with this painting is a double swipe. And um, a double swipe is where you swipe one colour one way and a, one colour another way and end up with a funky looking result. <laughs> That's the target. Okay. So what colours am I using? I am using ultramarine blue which as you can see by the stick dries quite dark um, I am using Payne's grey as you can see by my finger it dries quite dark but it does have a blue tinge to it so to me this is kind of a um, kind of what would you call it um, pitch black night sky because it's still always got that tiny 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 tinge of blue in it so there's what is going to be our black this is the ultramarine mixed with white and then to throw in a few sparkly stars and things we're going to have gold Silver and copper just because I can because I like copper and it's finally mixed up it's too thick as well um, I'm making a bit of a mess on my canvas before I even start so um the other thing I don't think I've done very well in the past with my swipes is um, enough silicon. So I'm going to put silicon in all my colours except my black and my white. Um, the silicon I'm using is dun, 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 la, 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 Durex Perfect Glide and this is a hundred percent dimethicone. That's why I use it. It is silicon. Dimethicone is silicon. Um, and so we're going to give this a good stirring. Um, and kind of what I'm planning to do is put the light blue down the bottom and the dark blue higher up um, and the gold and the silver kind of splattered in amongst them and we'll see what gets created really that's always the target what can i create 
Um, so, another thing that I tend to do a lot of is not have enough paint. Um, so, let's try and avoid that. But being a double swipe, we don't want to have too much paint and be have it really weird. If you know what I mean. So, one of the things that I have learnt from this style of painting is you've got to be willing to fail and you've got to be willing to be out of control. And as I've said a number of times in the past, there is no way I would have been willing to do this style of painting three or four years ago. And it's only through the use of the Access Consciousness tools um, that I've been able to create me in a way that has allowed me to... Um, to let myself go enough to do this really this ultramarine is looking a little bit chunky but that's okay because it's made the one that I mixed with the white look chunky too Reasonably even. And then we're going to put some gold in. Because we can. Because gold is awesome. And we're going to put some silver in. And we'll take Talk nicely to the silicon and say, make sure you come up to the top. So, I'm going to tap into the awareness of all those people that have done this sort of pour before. And it worked. <laughs> and all those people who have done this sort of pour before and it not worked and they learnt from it and what information did they get. And then I'm going to follow my knowing. When you tap into the information, you've then got to actually follow your knowing and see what you're aware of. And I think that my white's probably too thick. Yes. I don't think, I know that my white is too thick. Let's get it. Let's fix that real quick. Now I don't want to scrape that back into my big pot because it's got blue and white and stuff in there. So let's just mix some water in with it. Preferably holding it over the white area so that if I splash it doesn't screw up my dark area. Okay, that's pouring a bit better now. to add more water to the big pot that's not the issue it's adding that gold and blue that I scraped off the canvas back into the big pot might not work for the next painting I do just make sure that's got enough there to run down the sides Do you know what 
I love about YouTube. Um, I really love the fact that everybody has choice about what they watch and what they don't watch. And if something isn't fun for them, they can go find something else. How cool is that? All right. Let's just add a little bit more paint. A bit more than I can a little bit but that's okay all right so my favorite swiping tool and the one that I have received the best results from is kitchen towel um, and one of the reasons I get such good results is because I can dampen it down. That's what I'm doing right now. So I really should have put gloves on before I did that because I've got dirty hand. Let's see if I can apply a glove with one hand. There we go, paint covered. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you over here and just show you. I've got this um, kitchen towel. It's two two pieces of kitchen towel, and I squeeze that out a little bit. And whoop. I have a stick. Look at this. How cool is this? Now, what I use my stick for is to keep my kitchen towel straight and held evenly. If I can get it onto the stick in the first place. <laughs> ah, unravel. There we go. So the target is to get the bottom of the kitchen towel even all the way across so that then you just drag your piece of wood across and you've got an even, you probably can't see this very well. So let's get the other piece. And attach that as well. Unravel. Shaky, shaky, shaky. So as long as the bottom line of it lines up all the way across, you're good to go. That's my point of view. Um, we're looking pretty good here. Look at this side's got to come down a little bit more. All right. So, just going to Okay, so now we've got that even line-ish. And what I do is I drop it down into the white and then drag up through. And it's done a reasonable good job. Let's just fill in some of those bits that didn't So now we've got white on that. We don't want white on that. So 
there's two options I can either put a whole new piece on or we can unwind it and trim that off can you see my scissors no there dripping off in places but that's okay just make sure it doesn't drip into anything else and then unwind that again and we've got a reasonably even edge to do the next one and the next one put that down there is the black so let's see how does that the pain's grey I should say shouldn't I so once again taking it back over that back edge so that you've got now remembering there's no silicon in the Payne's Grey or the white and especially for the Payne's Grey you don't want silicon in your base colour if your base colour is or in your swipe colour if your swipe colour is dark because otherwise you'll end up with this is the same if you're doing a dark um, negative space otherwise the silicon will come up and leave blank patches on your canvas and the white of the canvas will show through and that's not cool or if you're using white negative space on a record you've got your target is to have the whole lot covered so I'm just going to add a little bit more through there and hopefully that should do it so once again I'm going to drop my paper down see how the paper kind of absorbs the paint not really dragging very well I quite like that I'm really d glad I did the black last and the white first um, clean fingers to bring the white down the sides All right. I 
I like it. I like it. It really does look kind of starry nightish. Got a bit of a swiggle going on there. Alright. Um, let's torch it. Let's see what happens when we torch it. Now, for those of you new to this art form, the torch will pop any air bubbles, but it will also warm the paint enough to bring cells up and the cells are the silicon A big lump of paint down there so I'm just going to tilt it and let it pull oh it's pulling from the top too ah that wasn't the plan okay let's pull that over that way first shall we Mm. So when you're doing any tilting, you've always got to watch the whole painting because that white just started to shift really fast. Um, and it's not pulling back down as fast. But now the black that I was trying to tilt off before is trying to move. Um, okay. definitely got quite a bit of copper showing through in places um, not so much gold um, where I can see the gold I might just give it some more just a little bit more delicate and there's still heaps of air bubbles on this White's starting to shift again, but I am starting to get that black to move, so just being a little bit cautious about how much I tilt for the white. Well, <laughs> trying to get the black to move like I want it to. I really quite like it. What do you reckon? This line through here is interesting. It's added an interesting dimension. 
Um, hmm. Let's just get a business card and pull that black back manually. Look at all that black that's come off there. I should be putting this in another cup for use later, I think. <laughs> I'm pulling so much paint off there. It's quite ridiculous, actually. So one of the reasons why I'm pulling this paint back is because you don't want to have huge amounts of paint creating patches that then will um, crack as it dries. The target really is to have as even a paint. Oops, don't dig too far, Michelle. As even a coat of paint across the whole painting so one part's not drying faster than the other pull it off and drip it down in somewhere else Okay, I want a clean car. Look at all the paint I've pulled off there. Right, so now we're going to torch it again because I can still see a lot of bubbles. So, those of you that get those amazing, huge amounts of bubbles of cells coming through when you do swipes, please point me in the direction of a video of somebody that shows how they mix their paint to get that, because this is still nowhere near what some of you guys post in the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. And, um... Yeah. How's it get any better? Now, one of the things that I have been contemplating, and I'm either going to really screw this up or really make it look cool, is putting an outline of a um, a witch on a broomstick <laughs> somewhere in this and I had been thinking more of it up here in the darkness but I'm wondering now whether I should put it down here looking like this is her wake trail as she flies off the screen or whether I should just leave it completely alone 
So I'm not going to do anything while it's wet. I'm going to post this video and I'm going to take a poll in the comments as to finding out what you guys reckon I should do. Should I put a, a witch on here for Halloween? Should I leave it completely alone? Or should I... Um, she says playing with it still. Um, or should I... Where sh if I should put the witch on, where should I put her? So, there you go, guys. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to show it to you once it's dry. And then I'm going to post it up on the video and get your feedback. Um, so, what else is possible? What magic can I create with this? I really don't like this line. It's really bugging me. I'm wondering whether I tilt it that way and just let it run off now that I've got most of that black off. So what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Will it run off if I tilt it is the question. I don't think it will. Let's have a look. What's going to happen if I tilt like that? Right up. We're at a, I don't know, 70 degree angle maybe. It's not moving. All it's doing is making other lines elsewhere. Look, got a line through here now. Tilt it that way, what's it going to do? Can you see it moving? Maybe I should make it a uh, a droopy art. Let's see what it does, eh? Oh, we've got other runs happening too. A few. I like that. I think I'm going to stop at that point and just hope. Do I just leave it slightly risen to dry? See if it'll settle. Yeah, I'm going to put this end up on a tin and leave it to dry and see how it shows up because I quite like it like this and these big thick globules they're a little bit mm, how will they dry the sky is melting dun, dun, da -da 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 -da. Or maybe the day is melt the night is melting the day is melting the night away or maybe it's the snow caps coming over in the shadowed waters of the Oh, could be anything really, couldn't it? Could be the the crashing of the wave coming over at the top of the back of the wave and you're looking straight at it instead of a side on like everybody else does. It could be all sorts of things. Tell me in the comments what you think it looks like. <laughs> 
All right, I'm going to put this to dry and I will be back. Your time in three, two, one. All right, well, I think it's pretty much dry. I probably wouldn't press too hard on the thick bits. <laughs> they probably need about three more days to dry. But here it is. Um, and I really like it. Uh, I think the best way to view this, in my personal opinion, is this way. And that way... This is mountains, snow-covered mountains, and maybe even the aurora into the darkness of the sky. What do you reckon? Um, I really like it. I really, really like it. And um, not so sure I'll be putting a witch on it though. Let's go around the other way and see what that looks like. It looks quite funky that way as well. Um, depends whether you want it for something that looks cool or whether you want it for um, something that's identifiable. <laughs> Always a good question. Um, we have had the start of the midgy season. Winter is over, spring is here, and with that comes buggerlicious. Look at that. So maybe that's where I should paint the... Uh, beautiful witch flying in the sky and the fly can be the tail of her broom or something I don't know <laughs> um, but other than that I really like it I'm really happy with it super super pleased there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of air bubble pockets um, but you know what could just put tiny tiny little drops of paint in those little bits of silver or something to make them sparkle and they could be the, the stars or not could just leave them exactly as they are and it is starting to rain so I'm gonna end the video there guys uh, come join us on acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group if you love this painting and want to own it for yourself let me know um, Otherwise, subscribe and I will see you in the next videos. Oh, and new information, um, I have an Instagram account now. Woohoo! Finally. Um, so if you want to go find me, search for Mickey Art, just like my YouTube channel, but with no space. And um, with that, you can... On the Instagram account, I, I'm posting on there as I paint. So you get to see the wet pictures on the day I paint them rather than having to wait three, four, five days till they are printed. Dry. That's the word. Dry. To see the video. So if you want that sneak peek of what's going on in my studio, then jump over onto Instagram and follow me there. Otherwise, all videos will continue as previously arranged. Bye-bye.